Hey guys, so today I want to get on and review the My DNA um, product line I received from Naturally Curly. As always, this review is absolutely my own opinion and I was not paid for this review. These products are not available on Chromart. Um, just overall, I want to say before I even get started with the more thorough review that I did not like this line at all. Um, I was looking at their, their ingredients list are really long. Um, it says it's 100% natural. Um, on the website. I don't think that's entirely true and I was looking up the ingredients um, because a lot of the ingredients do turn out to be things that we would consider more natural but um, they're using the INCI listing but there are still some things in here that I wouldn't consider natural and some things that I even looked up and then like on the ingredients list it's considered harmful like uh, what was it um, oh goodness it was the hexylene glycol I believe that's supposed to be like a known skin irritant or something wait let me just make sure I have the right one the ingredients list are so long they make my head hurt to read yep hexylene glycol so that's one that I don't think is funny uh, some of them have some of the this one has sodium hydroxide in it and yeah so I don't think I would call the line 100% natural, but perhaps it's a matter of semantics. Um, but anyway, going on to the shampoo. The shampoo is very creamy. It smells like cream in nature. Uh, so I thought, ah, I thought it may perform like cream in nature, and I just got it all over me, as you can see. Um, but it does not perform like cream in nature at all. My hair is extremely, extremely tangled and um, stripped after using this shampoo. Uh, I really did need to deep condition my hair after using it. Yeah, I'm certainly not going to use uh, the shampoo again. It tangled my hair and I needed to do a Cherry Lola treatment on my hair after. Um, if you don't know what a Cherry Lola is, it's like an alkaline treatment and my hair is low porosity so every time it's kind of jacked up. I usually do a Cherry Lola to kind of open up my hair shaft a bit, get some moisture in there, and then um, I'll seal it with like a product with aloe vera or something like that. Um, so then I use the conditioner. Um, this conditioner, uh, I do like the smell of the conditioner. It's kind of like sweet and flowery. Um, and it's a very, very thick conditioner. Like it takes a while to get it out, you see. Um, and it kind of looked like it was very gooey, like you almost can see the honey in it. And honey, well, honey's pretty low on the ingredients list. It's pretty low. It's hydroproxy propylatrimonium honey, um, which is their honeybee complex. And I think it's really um, honey quat. Um, that's the INC I name for it. But this one, okay, so I put it on my hair first and it goes on with a lot of slip. And then all of a sudden, like after you kind of work it into your hair, the slip disappeared, which I thought was kind of weird. And that's never happened to me. But I didn't like it. Um, I could not finger detangle with it. I couldn't finger comb with it. Then when I rinsed it, my hair ended up feeling drier than it did previously, um, even though this, it was already dry from the shampoo. So I did not like this at all. I also would not use this again. Um, even some conditioners I find to be mediocre, I'll kind of just throw on my hair every now and again. This is not touching my hair again. Um, moving on. So then after I used the shampoo and conditioner, I was a little scared to use the rest of the products because my hair felt so bad and I kind of had to fix my hair. So after I fixed my hair, I didn't want to mess it up again. Uh, so I waited a few days and I used the honey butter last night on my hair. This is a thick cream. It smells delicious. It smells like very fruity and sweet. I don't know. I just like how it smells. Um, this does have mineral oil in it and glycerin is like the third the fourth ingredient after water shea butter uh, metal foam seed oil then glycerin um, so i'm going to take pictures of the ingredients list and put them at the end of the review just because i couldn't find listings online for this these products and uh the ingredients list are so long i'm not writing them out but uh yeah so i put this on my hair just by itself i left a little bit of my conditioner in and then use curls in a bottle on top like I regularly do um, because there wasn't enough frizz control by itself. But then I put my hair in a bun with the bed, woke up, um, my hair feels pretty dry. It doesn't look that bad, but it feels really dry 
and I sprayed this leave-in conditioner on it um, that I think smells like kitchen cleaner. Like not even just an herbal smell, it smells like kitchen cleaner for real. And it's very, um, it's very watery, but it's, you know, sometimes leaving conditioners are usually like a bit sticky. This isn't sticky at all. I got it on my couch and then I don't even think I needed water to like wipe it up because it wasn't sticky. Um, but it has like water, trimethylglycine, the honeybee complex again, uh, centronium chloride, all these ingredients um but yeah this i don't really think this did anything to my hair i don't really think it provided any kind of moisture um then i used the leave-in conditioner after my hair was dry to fluff my hair out because it felt so it felt like really dry and i was like well let me see if i can get some kind of moisture in here but usually mineral oil is a moisture barrier um just getting moisture in so i don't even think that did anything to it and then as soon as i'm done with this review i'm totally going to shampoo my hair um then, last but not least, I use this serum. I use this on a twist out, and then I also use it on my hair today. I smooth down some frizz once my hair was dry. This is just silicones, basically. Um, it's like cyclopentacillosane, dimethicone, cyclotetracillosane, and um, there are some extracts in here as well. Um, but this actually, I think that this is probably the best product out of the whole line because usually with serums, I kind of like expect some cones and you can use it as a heat protectant. You can use it on your um, flat iron hair or something like that. So I feel like this one kind of does what it's supposed to do. Um, do I call silicones all natural? No. So I guess in that regard, I would not call this line all natural. Um, but uh, this does help smooth down to frizz on dry hair. It is a heat protectant, and I think that's really mainly what it's supposed to do. I mean, it's going to give you shine because it has silicones. So this pretty much is the one that did what it was supposed to do. I actually would use this again. I'll probably give it away before I use it again. I might give it to my mom, but um, I would use it again if I didn't. I have like a lot of silicone serums that I've gotten from different reviews, so I don't really need any more. But this one wasn't bad um it smells very flowery i don't really like the smell but it's just that regular serum you know clear kind of greasy type from the silicone serum so yeah that's pretty much all i have to say so i'm gonna go wash my hair now and check out the ingredients all right i'll talk to you guys later bye